Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Hope you're doing great. Got a great story at Yahoo Finance. It's about Walmart, it's about the gig economy and something that you need to consider when you're thinking about as this market turns, as this crash happens, where should you be positioned in your job? It's very, very important. I am a big proponent of having multiple sources of income, especially as we turn into this, are we in a recession or are we not in a recession? Because the government has changed the goalpost. They changed the term, the definition. We are in the hurt locker, quite frankly, and this is going to go down in the record books. This story embodies the exact reason why I have been saying for a while, why Well, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I've never heard an alarm go off in Walmart and an announcement outside the store. I guess they're hurting for people to come into the stores. They gotta try and draw them in. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Let's just dive into the story. A Walmart delivery driver said his weekly earnings has dropped from $1,500 to $200 due to competition from bots and it's a growing problem, workers say. Now, I've told you the story about my barber where he says, hey, I'm gonna be good. No matter how bad this recession is, I'm a barber. Then I've talked to Uber and Lyft drivers. They say, don't worry, the gig economy is strong, I'm good. But you are not actually good. And the reason why is because as artificial intelligence is taking literally tens of thousands of jobs, literally by next year, every day it will be happening. It is going to happen so fast, so many other employees that found themselves, you know, having a job will be looking for gainful employment and they will be flowing into the gig economy or they'll be flowing into, you know, working as a barber or things like that. My point being is that, man, that thing is really annoying. Don't they know that Ninja is actually trying to report? I don't know if you guys can't hear it probably, but holy cow. But the point being is that there are gonna be a movement of people from certain jobs to other jobs. And not only do we have AI, but we have just the fact that companies are gonna start laying off because they're going to have less business. I mean, you look at it right here behind me. Walmart is selling less TVs and electronics and more food. They are literally expanding their grocery aisle because square footage in a store is very valuable. So they need to fill it with things that sell. Remember during the pandemic, during the, uh, the, the the supply chain crisis, I, I filmed this like two full aisles of those stupid Coke bottle banks. They were the entire aisle because Walmart didn't want to look like they were empty, so they just filled it up with crappy plastic banks. But think about this, this gig worker going from $1,500 a week to $200 a week. It says here, <coughs> some drivers for Walmart's delivery platform Spark say there is a growing problem on the app involving users who deploy bots to hoard orders and make it harder for other drivers to get deliveries. It says a group of drivers who said they had been affected by the prevalence of bots in their area held a demonstration in front of a Walmart Supercenter in Illinois on Thursday. Drivers at the rally said they now had to work longer hours on the Spark app to make close to what they were doing before and attributed the slowdown to jobs of jobs to hoarders who were gaming the system to their advantage. These drivers' concerns highlight a growing issue for many gig workers. One Spark driver, Nancy Marcos, told the Tribune that while she used to make between $100 and $150 delivering for the app daily, she now makes half that amount. Eric Guzman, a Spark driver who has been delivering for the platform for a year and a half, said that he makes around $200 a week now compared to $1,500 he was making previously. Another driver said that she had noticed a drop in orders in January. It's unclear exactly how prevalent bots are on the Walmart Sparks platform. And if you guys are familiar and you use the platform, please throw your, uh, com your comments below on this. A spokesperson for the company said that bots are an industry-wide issue and that Walmart takes a proactive and comprehensive approach to identifying and preventing the use of bots on the platform. Let me just stop right there and just say too, YouTube does not uh, take any time destroying the bots on that platform. So I will never ask you for money ever. I'm not trying to contact you. I do not have a WhatsApp account, seriously. So I'm just gonna throw that in as well. It says here, workers who fill orders for multiple apps from Instacart to DoorDash have used and complained about bots for years. Bot users download an app or code to their phone, which they can use to claim batches faster than shoppers claiming orders by tapping them as they appear on the screen. Gig workers can set bots to claim specific orders, such as those with delivery addresses close to them, Using but using bots violates the terms and conditions of most delivery apps. Some bots like Insta, Instaman 
are apps that shoppers can download themselves. Sometimes shoppers pay for access to an app or a code. Some of these offers are scams and shoppers end up paying for bots that don't work. And this was reported by Vice in 2020. The point being is this, if you think that you're, uh, you know, one thing is the whole story about the bots, you know, and how fast they're grabbing these orders um, for the, uh, the drivers. But my point being is that you as an employee or having multiple streams of income right now, you have to protect that and you have to think how many people may be flowing into your sector and attacking your income because you're gonna severe, you're gonna have a severe amount of uh, competition when it comes to other employees now wanting your jobs. You need to um, consider that. I think these are very serious times and not because everything's melting down right now in front of you, but what, because they're going to be. And if you're prepared, you're not gonna be scared and you're gonna be able to take advantage of the people that didn't plan ahead and they are running around like chickens with their head cut off. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of this. Thank you so much for watching. The Economic Ninja is out.